Welcome, welcome, my lovely connoisseurs of the culture to another episode of Tokyo Xanadu EX featuring the voice you can't forget, Vitamin DGR. You're probably wondering what happened to the tone and tones of my voice. Well, nothing really. I just want to do something different. Regardless, welcome, welcome, like stated. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well this lovely day slash night. It has been a minute since we jumped back into Tokyo Xanadu. YouTube, by the time you got this video, it would have been a long while. Apologies, a lot happened, but hopefully we will be able to get this done somewhat soon. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man, we are in the heat of it. I mean, we already know, I, I saved the game, but I'm pretty sure most people were that observant noticed that it says final chapter, which means we're at the end of the road here. And I'm kind of getting a little antsy, but we have to see it through. We still have to find the rest of our friends. Last episode, we did, well, technically last couple episodes, we did run into both Sora and Yuki, and we managed to save them. And then we went to Nanahoshi Mall, and I forgot where else we went to. I think we went to everywhere, actually, except for where we need to go, aka Station Square. Which, I'm assuming again, we're probably going to run into Shio and Mitsuki. The reason why I assume it is because when we did Sora and Yuki, it was kind of in order, and the people that were connected to them were in trouble. So, if this game's going to be predictable, which it probably is going to be to some, and I'm kind of getting there myself, odds are it's probably going to be Shio and Mitsuki, and it's probably going to be... Well, actually, the reason I was thinking this is because Shio's person, that that ugly guy. Oh, I'm thinking, like, because for Sora and Yuki was Sora's friend Shiaki and Yuki's sis Aoi that got kidnapped. So I'm thinking if Shio and Mitsuki are going to be in Station Square, I'm thinking, who are they going to try to save? And I have a funny feeling Mitsuki's family is probably fine. So I'm trying to think, like, who would Shio save? And the only person I could think of was that ugly guy that used to run Blaze. But regardless, we gotta save them. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you really need for the recap. I mean, obviously, yeah, I could give a more detail, but it's the final chapter, folks. We gotta get to it. So, I don't know. I hope you guys are ready for more nonsense and fun and all the other stuff, because... Well, what I gotta say. Oh, oh, there is one thing I do wanna say. Um, Really quickly, I've been playing a couple things off camera, and I feel like I've talked about this before, but I didn't realize just how much heart well, not just this game. This game is fantastic. I love it. But Nihon Falcom has made some killer games. I am surprised that they're not as known as they are. They are very, like, the unsung heroes of a lot of JRPGs. Like, yeah, I, I played Cold Steel 1 and 2. I was actually replaying Cold Steel 2 just because I found my old... Well, I, I always had my Vita, but I found my old copy for Vita. And I want to give it a shot. And, man, it was just as much fun as I remembered. Of course, I kind of messed up a couple times, but it was still really fun. And I kind of want to do those games on stream. Especially because I know they're about to do a game called Daybreak, but I've kind of fallen a little out of it. I think to my knowledge, it's the newest iteration of Legend of Heroes after Trails in the Sky and the Cold Steel series. Oh, oh, and the, um, what is it, Crossbell arc? I know there's going to be one person out there. This, these videos I don't think usually get too much attention, but I know I'll get that one person that's way more of a diehard Nihon Falcon fan than I. And it's going to be like, V, this is where you're right, this is where you're wrong, and I hope that you say something in the comment section, because I would like to find more like-minded individuals to talk about this kind of thing about. But on that aspect, if you are among those like-minded individuals who love these kinds of games, even if they're not maybe as super popular as you think, but they are still got a lot of heart and love, I greatly appreciate any support you can give to Nihon Falcom, because really, more people need to do it. But if you also want to show some support to a guy with a nice voice that you know you can't forget, then please follow me on Twitch with the handle of Vitamin DGR. That is Vitamin DGR. Of course, you can also subscribe on Twitch to skip those pesky ads I know keep popping up in your face every now and then. But some of you guys may be watching this on the YouTubes, where you can find me on YouTubes there, uh, I'll read that in a second, where you can find me on YouTube with the same name and handle, and I greatly appreciate any and all likes. Heck, if even a part of you watch this for like, from five seconds to five hours, not that my videos are that long, but I still appreciate any and all support you can give to me. I am trying my best, and I love doing it, and I hope you guys love being a part of it. Alright, with that out of the way, I'm going to turn up the music and we'll get back to the thing here. <clears throat> oh wait, that's Ko, it's me. Sounds like someone saw one of the XRC crew over at Station Square. There's a pillar in the area as well. Oh, I said that weird. There's a pillar in the area as well, so we should be prepared before heading there. Once you head to Station Square, the story will proceed. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Said last time we're going to do it. Like I said, YouTube, I apologize. It's gonna it's been a little while since I've been able to do it, but at least we're back. We're back in Tokyo Xanadu. 
Oh, well, there's the pillar. Yellow, which means steel, which means probably not a pillar of eternity. Alright, I have no clue where this game's going anymore. The other one was called Darkness, even though it was ice, right? Well, that's the second pillar. Station Square is totally deserted. Where did everyone... Oh, uh... Sorry, I, I don't want to break immersion really quickly, but... I had one person send me a thing being like, Uh, why do you do, like, random and wacky voices? And I'm like, I don't know, I kind of like doing it. I mean, I always like... Well, I like to talk, if it isn't obvious, the fact I'm doing these episodes. It's always nice to talk in a normal voice, but I don't know. Talking in random voices, whether they're good or bad, I don't know, it just kind of gets me more into the character, and I kind of like it. I don't think it's going to go that far compared to my beautiful, normal, velvet voice. But I do like kind of doing the wacky voices, don't you guys? Anyway, where did everyone go? As I say wildly. It looks like the... Oh, the music got quiet. It looks like the welcoming party has arrived. Uh-oh. Whoa, okay. Other monsters in the city. Because of bullcrap reasons. Let's do this. As soon as I uh, adjust this. Alright, let's do this. You know what? Wrong buttons. Wow, it has been way too long since I played these freaking games. I'm playing, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I don't remember how to play any of this. This is so bad. Ow! Alright. That was really bad. Oh, man, I gotta get back in the groove of these things. Also, I should probably heal. Oh, spirit? Oh. I wish I knew that. Ah! Just chill out, guys! Alright, forget this. I don't still win. Hold on, where's my... Ah, oh, I still got meter. Uh, cool down. Oh, you heal? Oh, flip that. Oh, this is what I get. Okay, where's the, the medicine? Hold on. Um... Wait, no, I need the better stuff. Stuff that really does work. Ah, back off for a second! I can't move! Can't move, guys! No. Ah, this is such a narrow area. It doesn't help that I didn't remember how to play. Ah, man. Just, God, I can't move! Back off for five seconds! I'm not gonna die here. Oh, that was such a nightmare. That was the worst display I've ever done this game. I gotta warm up when we get to the dungeon. Oh, man. This is what happens when you haven't played this game in weeks. Oof. What was I thinking? I jumped into this, watched last episode, and was like, oh, yeah, I know where we are. Cool. I'll get back to it. If anyone was caring, it wasn't anything serious. Just a lot of, like, stuff in life. It's fine. But I was like, yeah, I couldn't do Tokyo Zandu for a couple of weeks. And I was like, oh, it's probably fine. I'll just watch what I did. The muscle memory would kick in. And it kind of did. But boy, oh, boy, that was my worst display. Yeah, but you somehow did it. Yeah, barely. Crap. Oh, crap. Why are the greed so powerful here? My guess is the pillar is affecting them somehow. Yeah, Sasagatane. I. Whose voice is that? Uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I was chewing on a gummy worm. <laughs> Almost choked on a worm. <laughs> that's what I get. <laughs> Die by candy. All right. Uh, whose voice is that? I think that's the. Sounds like the pharmacist guy. I'm gonna assume it anyway. Wow, you guys are pretty good. <laughs> I don't recognize that voice though. Well done, all. Oh, uh, the the attendant. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot about her. Well, I remembered her, but I forgot her name. 
So, I guess that's all on me. Welcome, welcome, Bay, to the stream. <clears throat> Kana san, and Mizahara san, are you alright? I see now. So, you're our information source. Ah, Gometo sa. Our information source. Oh, okay, got it, Rummer. Correct. Earlier, your friends entered the pillar. They're on the tail of an. Oh, no. They're on the tail of an angel type greed? Oh! I gotta fight all the. Well, okay, I already knew I gotta fight everything I fought before, but I hated the angel type greed. Oh, this is gonna be a rough episode, I can already tell. Alright, well, while I go through this, allow me to just say, chat, viewers, I hope you guys are doing well this lovely day slash night. Because I'm definitely not going to be having one by the time this episode's done. More specifically, it was Mitsuki and Rion. Oh! It's not Shio? What the hell happened to Shio? Shio's probably with Goro. Like, it's got to be in Paris, but Mitsuki and Rion. Okay, so I guess it makes sense why Rion's evolved because the angel. Oh, that threw me for a loop. Mitsuki and Rion? And the angel type greed? Could it be? Well, it was you're probably smart. You could probably figure it out. They were obviously in a hurry, so there really wasn't much time to get any real details. Someone important was abducted. Who are we taking guess on? Put your guesses right now. Who's important to Mitsuki or and or Rion that they got abducted? Now it says someone. So my first thought would have been the members of Spica, but I have a feeling we would have at least encountered one of the other members if it was Spica, so I have no clue who else it could be. You could waste your time brainstorming, or you can go join them. I think you should choose the better choice. We'll help out as much as we can. Yes, of course. We'll head in once we're ready. Got it! Alright, so I gotta help out Mitsuki and Rion. God, that was such a shameful display by your boy. Alright, well, whatever. See if we got anything new here. Man, I didn't even... Re I thought about this. By the time this video's coming up, YouTube, I got a couple of playthroughs I'm about to be at the end of. About to end Sly, about to end Master Detective, and I'm at the end of, of Tokyo Xanadu? Some people are already wondering what next I'm going to play, and I have... Well, one I've been wanting to play ever since I kid, and I never got a chance to play. That's happening for sure. One that is completely new to me, that another friend recommended, and one that I will keep as a proper surprise. Um, Bayo jumped in and said, oh yeah, what chapter are you on in Rain Code? Bayo, I'm almost done. Uh, I think I'm at the final area. Uh, at, as we speak, I'm pretty much at the end. I don't want to say finale finale, but I feel confident that I'm close in all three of these games. Sly, um, Master Detective, which you guys should watch my playthroughs of that because it's really fun, and Tokyo Xanadu. Um, and I already got one... So the same person that recommended me Undead Darlings gave me another visual novel to play, and she says it is the most emotional game that she's played recently, and even though I already accepted it, she's like, I'll be willing to pay you to play it. I was like, no, 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 I'll play it, I'll play it. I'm going to keep it a surprise right now, but uh, that's going to be what's replacing Master Detective once I'm done. But to answer your question, yeah, I, I probably, I don't know, and I know there's DLC, but I still got to get my hands on it, so odds are I'm probably going to end that playthrough and... Like, probably next episode or two, if I had to take a guess. <clears throat> I heard that something truly terrible is happening outside. And I have a game, another Nihon Falcom game that I got my hands on that I do want to do after Tokyo Xanadu. So, I got a couple things lined up. I'm looking forward to it. Nobody's iPhones have deception right now either. What the heck is going on? What the heck is happening? I heard that monsters are appearing everywhere. Could they be aliens from outer space? I have to protect my mom. Oh, you're a good kid. You ain't gonna do jack squat, but you're a good kid. That little boy's not going to be able to do jack squat. He's about to lose his mom. Like, don't say that in front of the kid. I was about to head home for when the earthquake hit. Then those monsters appeared. The pharmacist helped me get to safety, so I was okay. But man, it was scary. Let's see, what voice? I think I gave him basically the Goro chill 
This was definitely an unexpected quick turn of events. Unlike what happened ten years ago, there wasn't enough time to dispatch additional enforcers. I heard about that. Yes, and with more and me on lockdown like it is, no one can enter. It's up to those of us trapped inside the city to deal with what's going on. Yes, that is correct. All I can do is continue making medicine, looking cool, being sexy, and providing support as always. And of course, prepare for the regrettably inevitable casualties. Yes, please. Let's, let's not hope yeah, it yeah, comes to that. You got anything new? No? Alright, and I also need money. Bale says, in what chapter is this right now? In Tokyo Xandu? Final chapter. In My fact, daughter. to better show it, because I saved the game in case anybody's doubting it. Final chapter, as you can see right there, which means... God, I'm getting emotional. All these games I've been playing are nearing an end. Well, except for Atlas Wednesdays. I'm not worried about that one. And I'll share my mentality on that in a second while I buy more of these uh, quote-unquote drugs. But when it comes to the playthroughs I'm doing, separate from one visits, because I could just jump into any game, with these playthroughs, I always wonder what's next going to happen or what I'm going to do afterwards. Um, do I want to buy all these right now? Yeah, I'll buy one more. And it's always a mystery because I still don't quite know what I want to do 100% with this channel other than, you know, just play a bunch of games and have fun with you guys. Um, I'll let you guys read this while I talk about it. But I've always wondered, like, different games I should do, playthroughs, whether I should do long games, short games. And I found myself realizing that of all the games I do throughout my, uh, well, my daily, because I play, what, a game every, like, five days a week, essentially. Um, what I found interesting, is anybody in here? Oh, people are in here, thank goodness. What I found interesting is, of all the days I have lined up and all the games I have lined up, I don't seem to have any worries with Wednesdays. And because Wednesdays is my Atlas Wednesdays, I have so many Atlas games I want to do and plan to do. Like, yeah, I'm on Persona, so that's going to be a while. And I'm planning on doing the marathon. And I know I also have Vengeance that if I get the money for, I like to do. Which is also another thing I need to figure out how that's going to go. But, um, I don't feel like I have to worry too much on the Wednesday block compared to Monday, which I want to do kind of like retro games or old school games in a sense, whether it's remastered or not. Tuesdays, I kind of like it to be visual novel-y. And then Friday, I like it to be, like, kind of also visual novel-y. I guess it just kind of depends on my flow of things. Bottom line, how I'm going to shorten it is look forward to the newer games I got coming out. Because I got quite a few things that I'm planning on doing for this channel. And if I can hopefully grow my uh, fan base and support, I like to do a lot more. Bale says, okay, so Tuesday for Ace Attorney. No, but I was told... I never played Ace Attorney. I was told to play those games um, by quite a few people. My friend actually did suggest that game, but she made me play this other game, which is like Japanese as hell. So I'm looking forward to that one. But I have heard of Ace Attorney. I do kind of want to check it out. Bale says, you do need to play them. They're hilarious. I've heard. I've heard. I just never got a chance to play. I didn't literally do not know a thing of Ace Attorney. Despite a number of people I watch and subscribe to, like doing it. Like, for example, some of the people I, wa I watch Game Grumps. I watch Logan Robo. And I know they played it. But because of my interest, I didn't want to like, and I don't want to be rude when I say this for either of the people I watch, but I didn't want to watch it just because I wanted to go in blind. But I do want to do Ace Attorney. Of course, though, I feel like I also want to get some of my friends to join in, especially some of my female friends, because one of them in particular both loves and cringes every time I do a female impression. And I tell her I can't do females uh, voices. My voice is too low and beautiful and sexy. Do you think a voice like this is capable of doing a young, feminine girl? Can you imagine my voice on, like... If we do, like, a, um... Like, if there was a gate, like... You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right now. I'll, I'll talk to him later about Shiori. Uh, imagine if this girl right in front of me was a main character. Can you imagine this voice on a body and girl... A body of a girl like this? Everyone run away in fear. That ain't happening. I'll go check out other floors. Can you help on this floor? Surely it's me. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you guys. No store guy here. Wrong button. No, no, no store. All right. Do a live dub for it. I totally be a part of it. I want to get better like hardware because I want to get more of my friends to join in. I would love to also get like chat to do it as well. Obviously, I'm limited on my and I want people to realize this. I do not joke when I say I'm limited on my capabilities. I am trying my best though. 
wow, it is way more packed in here than I realized. Holy moly. Not saying no to the idea. I just want to be able to get to do it. Oh, so you're the ones that Kanai told me about. If pistols work on those monsters, I'd be more than happy to provide some backup. That's right! You have a gun! And Japan's funny about guns! Officer! Thanks for the offer. But please, leave everything happening outside to us. But you can't do anything without a gun! Actually, we can. But, but, but my gun! I finally got a chance to use it! You can take care of yourselves. Did you join the force just so you can use a gun? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Bayo beat me to it. Damn it. Neutral B? Yeah, it's the side special. I love that trailer for uh, Smash Bros. Which is funny, as Joker is my second main, next to Hero, because I frippin' love both Persona and Dragon Quest. But, dude, when I saw that Joker trailer, oh, man, sign me up. I cried tears of every kind of joy. <clears throat> Come on, Kana. Dry those tears. Happiness comes to those who smile. But sadness comes to those who don't. Grandpa Take, what happened? I want to go home. That girl's never going home. We're all doomed. It's all the end here. I mean, just as the giant earthquake was starting, all these monsters started appearing out of nowhere. It's got to be some kind of sick joke. I love how during, like... I want to I want to know right now, YouTube. I want in Twitch. I want you to be fair with me. Just to, like, get you guys going as I have you guys read again. Say, and hopefully not, but there was a crazy disaster. Like, uh, say a massive earthquake happened. And obviously, if it does, my heart goes out to those who are going through it. Because I know the world is not the most safest spot. So, if anyone going through anything similar to what I'm about to describe, then please be well. But, during a circumstance... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to... Maybe it's a bit of an overshare of being personal, but... During a, like... A crazy new uh, circumstance, like say a world apocalypse, not apocalypse, but an earthquake, a uh, tsunami, flood, volcanic eruption, things like that. Obviously, some of you guys are probably going to lie. I'm going to be right with, uh, straight with you guys. But do you think you're more part A or part B? Part A are the people that are more like secure, stoic, not necessarily stoic, but they're ready, prepared. Like you're ready for said event to happen. You know you can get it hap or to take care of people. You're, you're calm, essentially. Whereas part B is, I'm not saying you're spazzing out and, you know, freaking out, but you're definitely not calm and collected. You're definitely kind of, like, panicked and stuff, and you wig out and worry. And I'm going to be fair with you guys. I feel like since it's the end chapter, I should probably give him all these things. I'm going to be fair to you guys. I, I don't think I'm going to be the calm, composed type. I don't see myself as it. I mean, I watch a lot of anime and see a lot of documentary videos and stuff about it, and I like to think I'm smart enough to know what to do, but when the, situ when the circumstance happens, I feel like I might buckle under pressure. Who knows? Maybe I might end up drastically changing and become like a badass, but I personally think that I'm more the part B where I, I, I know what I should do, but I feel like the stress might like break me down. I don't know. We'll see. Boom, boom, three. Everyone knows during an apocalypse. Food calms the nerves. Sounds fantastic. I'm just gonna bring him all the stuff. I realized I was saving up for something, and well, this is the last chapter, so why the flip not? And he's just saying the same thing, so I'm just gonna rip through all this. I'm assuming he'll give me a reward here. Bayo says, Gun is neutral B. Side B is Ega slash Aegon. That's true, depending on if you have Arsene. And down B, if you don't have Arsene, is Rebel's Guard, which looks cool. And if you have it, then it becomes Tetrakar and Makarakarn. Because they decide to... Wait, he's saying something different. Hold on. Let me say, I'm surprised at your variety of dishes, Ko. I've got a reward for everything you brought so far. Oh, really? You're... Oh. You give me ingredients to make you more food? Well, how else are we going to do it? Use those and make even more unique dishes. Okay, wow. I made a joke. He's literally giving me ingredients to make him more stuff. Well, lucky for you, I've already been doing it, so... I don't think I have all of the things, right? Hold on, I'll check afterwards. Number four. Is it every five? Every five he gives me something? Yeah, every five he gives me something. Alright, really quickly. Oops. Oh, right, I did learn that. Uh, How many recipes am I missing? One, two... Oh, there's only two recipes left? Where? 
I would have thought I got everything. Where are the other two recipes? There's two last things I still need to cook, and I still need to make this passion parfait thing. Which, since I'm at it, and I'm right in front of the guy. Damn it, he didn't mess it up as much as I wanted to. Wanted him to mess it up. Okay, I'll just do four. Surely I'll mess up one of them. There we go. But I don't know who does it perfect. It's gotta be somebody I don't know yet. Alright, I'll worry about it later. I'll wait till I get my friends. I am looking forward to, for those who are more uh, into Nihon Falcom, I know I'm behind, but I did see the trailer video for um, Daybreak, for Trails Through Daybreak. It looks good, and I recognize the voices, especially because, and, well, I, I think I recognize the voices. I think it'd be better to say. Because I think the main character in that, whatever our Spriggan is, I think the main voice actor in that is the same person who voices Al Gami in uh, Shibigami Vengeance. As well as voices, um... Oh, man. Uh, Takaya. Sorry, I'm about to call him Jin. From, uh, Persona 3. Can't get away from this dude. Probably also because I also subscribe to him. Because I know he does content creation on Twitch. I can't get away from some people, man. But, I, like I said, I did see the, uh, trailer. Or see the trailer. The intro of video. Well, I can't say much about its flavor. It was alright, I guess. Wow, he even eats the really bad stuff, huh? Okay. I, your, your, your appetite knows no bounds, I guess. But anyway, um, they showed the intro video to Daybreak, um, I think a couple days ago. Actually, it was a little longer than that. And it looks really good. Which is what baffles me is that Nihon Falcon makes great stuff, and why I'm also really looking forward to the game because of the music. Because I know Nihon Falcon makes bomb-ass music. Holy moly. Like, just alone from Cold Steel. Like, there's a minigame, which is funny. I was talking about Blade. Oh, I don't have any more dishes? Oh, damn. I ran out. Damon Mills? Yep. Same dude. But, uh, what, what baffles me, though, is that Nihon Falcon makes such great stuff, man. Like, people need to play these games. And I need more money. Wait, I have this... Who has this equipped? I have one of these? Wait, 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 wait hold on. Who has double axe equipped? Oh, I have double axe equipped. Bale says, I didn't know he streams. I need to follow him now. Look it up! It's awesome! At least I'm pretty confident, Sim. And if I'm mistaken, then I'll oh. Actually, is that? Now that I think about it, I'm going in my head here, because I'm pretty sure I found... Maybe if he doesn't stream, I think he, like, was part of something? Hmm. I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, well. I'll worry about it later. If he doesn't stream, I remember seeing him on, like, a video that was on Twitch once. Uh, I can't do any of these upgrades, can I? No, I can't. Right, well, whatever. I can't upgrade anything else because I need materials because I suck at life. Oh, well, I can do that, but... Hmm. I need more steely horns. I need more steely dance. Kane, what's Zodiac's current status? No idea. I just realized I have them having the same voice. Oh well. I cannot get in contact with HQ, even using emergency channels. The only thing I have to offer is that Miss Mitsuki, or rather Mitsuki's son, was spotted earlier. I see. On another subject, any word on the kidnap victim? I can only hazard a guess based on what I overheard. Apparently there were two people kidnapped by the Black Angel. Two people? Wonder who got nabbed. Wait, two people got nabbed? Alright, now I'm really thinking. Who's important to Mitsuki and Rion that it's two people? Hmm. I can't think of it. Yeah, I can't think of it. 
Oh well, whatever. Now I'm going back in my head. Was it Twitch? No, no! Flip me! It wasn't Twitch! I'm so sorry! It was YouTube! He has a YouTube thing. Oh my god, I'm, I'm more on YouTube than Twitch. Sorry, Bayo. My apologies. Oh, I can't do my lottery. Not uh, Twitch. He has a um, YouTube channel. But I swear I thought I saw him on a Twitch. You know what I think I saw him on, though? I know I, I remember it was YouTube. For sure it was YouTube. But what I remember is um, I think he was on a video and someone was like showing it on Twitch. Because I'm pretty sure I subscribed to him on YouTube. So many people I subscribe to on YouTube, it's not even funny. So what else is to do here? I don't think there's anything else. Unfortunately, I need more money. I don't think I should do any more upgrades or equipment because I... Well, first off, I need more materials. And then I should probably get my friends. I am really curious on these two people. How do I even get over there? Oh, I have to go through there. It's going to be a bad dungeon, isn't it? All right, hang on. Better be safe than sorry. Considering what just happened earlier this episode, I better pull out all the stops. Uh, oh, you too. Ever thought something like this could happen outside of movies? Here I should take notes for my eventual disaster. Oh, no, no, that's the time. This is when we need to stay calm and work together. See? He's panicking. I was here to buy some equipment for the shoot when I got caught up in the earthquake, being able to defeat that monster. What are you? What are you? The Night Guard. Is there any other new things? Okay, yeah. But I realized I kind of rushed this, and I shouldn't. Uh, what is this thing I saw? Hawkwing. Flying skill damage was... Wait, I think I need these for, um... Making crazier things, right? Yeah, I need a lot of money. Oh, God, it's so expensive, these things. Like, I need this for sure. God, I need so much money. Oh, a new Master Core. You're curious, huh? Magic type one? Well, that's gonna go to Asuka. All right. Guess there's no other better time to save than now. Well, I still wanna save some. Okay, that should be enough. I'll at least get the Master Core. Now I need to save up gems or start selling a lot of my smaller stuff if I wanna be able to do it. Cause I really don't wanna get rid of the gems right now. I mean, I know I should. Maybe I should just sell some spare elements. You know what? No, we'll just move on later. You don't have to waste this whole time doing it. I want to find Rion and Mitsuki. And find out who these two people are that apparently got nabbed. Oh, I forgot. Square doesn't do this. Let's see. Mitsuki. Uh, Mitsuki. Uh, Hiragi. Um, it's a little weaker on the attack for her. And a little bit on the power. But her magic attack will definitely jump higher. Crit attack changes the face the same. Yeah, okay. Done. Would have loved that they gave a new uh, steel one, but oh well. All right, let's go see if we can save uh, or help out Rina Mitsuki. To the pillar of eternity. Which is probably gonna go oh so smoothly, and by smoothly, I mean it's. Oh, I already hate it. it looks pretty though, but I already know I'm not gonna like this. What's that wind thing? Wait, is it wind? Is this dungeon wind-based, despite it looking yellow like steel? Looks just like the pillar in the park, but... Yeah, it feels totally different, because, you know, we can feel that somehow. Oh, don't say that. I sense a number of powerful greeds inside. Got it. Stay on your toes, everyone. Mitsuki Senpai. Rion. Hold on a little longer. Yeah, actually, I just thought about it. They're the squishy ones. We gotta save them. Alright, let's see here. Spirit, Shadow, Fire, and Wind. Now, this is probably a dumb thought here. But we're going to get Mitsuki and Rion. If it's like the last dungeon, we'll eventually get Mitsuki and Rion. And obviously I'm going to keep Ko. So... We'll have we have Shadow and Wind covered. So I should either stay as Fire or switch to Spirit. Depending on the greeds here. Yeah, that's going to be a fan. What's the Fire one? 
the big guy. I think I will swap to Spirit. Oh, well, actually, we don't have to worry about that right now. We will have Asuka. Because we don't need Yuki, essentially. We'll have Fire, Spirit, and Wind. We're going to suck against Shadow. Or I can switch to Shadow. Yeah, I'll switch to Shadow. Gotta admit, it's kind of nice having a uh, character that can use all the elements. Alright, let's save and get this done. Oh no, I spilled my worms. Oh, well... Not gonna eat those anymore. Note to self, folks, when you're munching on gummy worms, make sure you don't knock them over. Alright, let's do this. Bring it! Are they already shadow enemies? Yup. Wow, we're already dealing with shadows? Ow! Yo, that's a lot of damage! Wait a minute! It did nearly 1500 damage, but I'm a shadow user! Why did it do so flippin' much to me? Wait, 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 hold on. Hold the flippin' phone. Uh, where's... Is there an element... Man, I haven't done this in a second. I really should read these. Uh, where's the element things? This is stupid. Okay. Shadow. Oh, effective against shadow. Shadow enemies deal greater damage to all fire, wind, seal, and spirit allies. Wait, so... But why did I take so much damage as Ko? I thought Ko was kind of tanky. Man, this game's just fun. Alright, what does this thing do? Whoa! Oh, okay. Alright, I learned. Yeah, I'm not pumping out 1,500 damage numbers. It's stupid. Whoa, what's there? Ow! Look, dude! I'm just, oh, I'm taking this damage like something fierce. Maybe I'm just under level. Ooh! Nah, -uh, uh No more 1500s. This is this game, man. Right, what does this do? Oh, I even know if that's a cage. Oh, actually, before I, uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, also, we'll just, uh, Might as well give Ko a chance to heal. And, really quickly, before I go further, um... Let's do... Reika. Yeah, you probably, you ought to forgot, uh, that I thought I forgot about that, huh? What was that? Oh, man. Freeze, 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 freeze. There we go. Come on, Ko, you gotta step it up, man. Asuka keeps getting all the good stuff. You're not getting jack diddly. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what's happening. You know what? Screw it. It's gonna be a long dungeon. I'm pretty sure I'll get meter by the time I get to the end. I got your back. Brando! Oh, triple, triple. <sighs> man, when that move gets a crit, man, that's probably the strongest move next to the super anime moves. That's why I love making Ko crit. Because, man, that damage is not a joke. Oh, didn't see you. Right, what's this? Thing? Resurrection? I'll probably need that. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of shadow enemies. I made a good call switching code to shadow. Oop. Panic. Ow! Right, which way do I go? Um. Oh, this way. Oh. Filling the buttons, filling the buttons, because I suck. There we go. You know what actually makes me happy, uh, YouTube? Is... I like how... Okay, so... 
YouTube, some of you guys may not know, but whenever I'm about to, like, set up for a stream, it gives me, on OBS, the ability to, like, edit the video, so that way it's like, oh, what is the title you want to name it, which I obviously do an episode base, um, what is the category, the notification, things like that, and what I found interesting to me, this is just, you know, me nerding out, is... I remember there was numerous times where Tokyo Xanadu, I didn't think would get many people, but I can see now, like, it's got, like, a bunch of people somewhere in the world watching it, and there is, like, a good number of followers for it, and, like, obviously I want the number to be a lot bigger, like, in the 10,000s, because it's only, like, just shy of a thousand, but it's kind of nice to know that there's people that know this game exists and like it, so it makes me happy. I hope I'm one of those people that can help grow it. More games like these that are unheard of need to be more in the spotlight. And not just, in, like, in general. I don't know if this would be qualified as an indie game per se, but I think it's about time we start giving some respect to indie games. I mean, look at all the AAA games that's happening right now. Most of the games always are good. Like, some of the games are good, yeah, but there's always those games that always has, like, bugs or issues or things. Like, it's dated, but... Uh, well, I don't know. I might make somebody happy if I talk about it. But whatever, I'm still going to talk about it anyway. Um, if anybody ever played that... Ooh, Red Ball game. That was close. That had its own share of problems. Like, during its first initial launch. I didn't want to use Cyberpunk, because I know Cyberpunk's doing a lot better now. But I think it was still funnier. Where do I go from here? Oh, there you go. Like, games that are, like, praised to be, um, triple-A, I don't feel like they just don't do as well in that game. I don't know. I can't think of any, like, other, mm, there's probably some other examples I can think of for, like, triple-A titles. But I do know why I'm thinking about this. Um, they did announce, ah, oh, crap. Oh, I didn't know that enemy. Uh... They did announce that they're doing God of War Ragnarok for PC, and I'm mixed feelings about that. Because, not to say anything on... Oh, that's a bad idea. Ow. Because lately, whenever I hear, like, exclusives coming to PC, it's been usually racked with bugs or issues. Ow. Alright, screw you. Like thing, man. Stay away. Doing the stupid spin again? I'm trying to talk to chat, but you keep making me have to focus. You keep doing a dumb spin every time. All right, through this. There we go. Anywho, uh, let me let me start this this bit over. Sorry, I was heavily distracted by that annoying thing. That thing was just sturdy, unnaturally sturdy. Um, the point I'm trying to come across is I I'm afraid of AAA games nowadays. Old Bengal. Right. Because I feel like AAA games usually have some issues. Now, I'm not saying all, but like. I'm being dated when I talk about things like Redfall and Helldivers and stuff. But to, to, to dip, make a different argument on this one, but I'm going to the same point is, I feel like lately the more popular games or games that are more fun aren't games that usually have like crazy big studios supporting them. I mean, let's look at some indie games that people still love to watch, like uh, Lethal Company. Like I'm pretty sure Lethal Company is still big, hopefully by the time this video is uh, uploaded that people aren't, you know, sick of it and stuff. This is well bangle. But... I don't know, like, I feel like games like that are more popular because they don't have to have, like, millions and millions of dollars invested in it to show it makes a great game. Oh, I already have one of these. Ugh, oh, lame. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like the smaller games end up having a lot of heart and end up being more worthwhile to me. Like, what's, what's another one? Didn't they announce Call of Duty or something that's about to happen, even though they do one, like, every flipping year? Who's to say that that game's not going to be racked with some sort of problems and issues? And I'm not attacking the Call of Duty community, even though the Call of Duty community is something else. I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm more apprehensive for games that have massive backings 
I'm not talking like, oh, like, they get tons and tons of money. I'm talking like, you know, games made from big studios, well-known studios, like EA, for example. Ale says, I have a joke for you. Uh, lay it on me. I am all ears while I continue on my rant. And no, I'm not being salty because this game deserves more love than a mere, like, 800 or so followers. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I don't know, I think people should just pay a bit more attention to the smaller indie game. Like, Day the Diver is fun. When I did Undead Darlings, I think that game was fantastic, even though I know that's never going to be front page on anything. Although there are some exceptions. Some indie games do break the mold and become, like, way big, right? Like, uh... Well, I think Hollow Knight started small and became big, yeah? Even though I really need to play that game. I heard Hollow Knight was fantastic. I do want to do a platformer. What the hell is... Oh, found him! Whoa, that's a lot of angels. Good thing, too, because you two were the squishy ones. A dark angel. Actually, was that the voice of Gabriel? No. At least it feels the same as the one before. It seems that someone is copying them. Uh. What? Oh, uh. Bay. Okay, I'm just gonna read what Bayo wrote here. Uh, Bayo says. I kind of want to do acid in a Best Buy in Utah. I'll call it my LSDLDSDLSS adventure. If I said that right, man, I feel like I'm about to bite my tongue on that one. What the heck did I just read, Bayo? Let me set up a barrier. Oh, wait, Irvish. Let me set up a barrier. It should buy you some time. Leon-san, once there's an opening, get moving. But wait a sec, I just can't leave you here alone. Leo, Mitsuki Senpai! You don't have to. Step aside, ladies. Let me show you how a man does it. Uh Kaku and Asuka and the others too. I'm glad you're okay. You have incredible timing, aka plot device. Hey, it's really good plot device. Let's chat later. You need to deal with this first. I'm gonna hate this. Three angels? Uh, let's see here. Born of Bayo, Acid is LSD, Utah is known for Mormons, aka the LDS Church, and DLSS are PC parts. I didn't know any of that, like, whatsoever. And what's funny is that I know there's going to be people that listen to me that's going to be like, oh, they get it. Because that completely flew over my head. Rio and Miski required? Well, I mean, I guess. Oh, God, I got to Okay. Okay, just, just one at a time, one at a time. You know what? I knew I was gonna hate this. I really hate this. I probably should have Mitsuki. Oh god, like not enough damage? Alright, help me. Your help too. Who are you gonna match again? Alright, got one. Ow! Oh, what did you appear behind me? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hold still. Ow! Alright, that's two. Hold still, Leo. Ow! Uh-oh. No, no! Probably, uh... Oh, wrong thing. Oh, right, it's the teleporting annoyance. I hate these things. I remember fighting you before. Oh, so annoying. Oh, so annoying. Where'd you go? I know it'd be stronger with Ko, but... Oh, so annoying. 
Ah, just... Oh, that did not do nearly as much damage as opposed. What happens when you, uh, invest mostly in one character? I can't paralyze either. Wait, wait. Ow! Bad idea, I know, but screw it. Oh, it does more damage. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Just stop teleporting so I can beat you already! Hey, I saw your comment. I will read it in one quick second. Once I get this annoying. Yeah, there we go. Jeez Louise. Ugh, okay. Bale says, I was driving through Nevada and I saw a lot of hoes. The garden tool. Don't take my words out of context. Then I drove through Utah and I also saw a lot of hoes. Same thing. And then I crossed the border and I realized Idaho. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> okay. What sucks is that I'm thinking again and making me smile. I'm not laughing at the joke. The joke's not funny. It's just... Whatever, I'm going back to the game. Phew. Not sure how we survived that one. They were really annoying this time. Yeah, you're telling me. So who the hell are these important people that got kidnapped here? That you two, which is an interesting combination, I might add, came here this way. I'm pretty sure facing three of them at the same time is against the rules. You two okay? Oh, we about to have a moment? Alright. Um, you're really real, right? You're not greed impersonators or a figment of my twisted cognition or anything? What? I'm again? Of course we're real. We heard that you two headed into here, so we naturally chased after you. Gonna hug? Oh. Oh. Ow. What? What did I do? Oh, don't do the, the, the classic yet still endearing and redeeming anime tsundere trope of being like, you, babaka, 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 like the girl from Horimiya. When the heck did you show up earlier? What was I supposed to do? I can't do anything for you. <laughs> Give me a break, okay? Anyway, I'm glad we found you two. <laughs> I wanted to do that to him, but I guess I'll wait my turn. Ah, uh, you really did. Oh. He really did help us after all. All those three names that you can read, thanks to you as well as well. <laughs> no need. I was glad to help. <laughs> I only care for fighting something, so it works out. <laughs> I guess we're all good for the time being. Bale says, I looked up Utah jokes a while back because I'm from there, and those two stuck in my memory. Is that really what happens when you look up Utah jokes? Oh, we got when we came to... <clears throat> excuse me. When we came to, we were inside the Hokuto Group's Morimiya office building. I think the... Oh, wait, that is not in her voice. I think the Seal Knight, aka Koinata-kun, saved us. Which I think he's still, like, healing in the nurse's office. Is that so? Jun is a thoughtful little nerd, isn't he? Oh, wait! Is the important people Miski's grandfather? You mentioned the Hokuto building. Yeah. Yes, my grandfather procured a building within the city limits as a precaution against a hollow quake. We were planning our next move when suddenly, 
でもそんな時にさっきの黒い天使が現れて Those dark angels appeared. Mitsuki 先輩のおじいさんとワカメ男をさらっていっちゃったの Oh, they did kidnap her grandfather and Kelphead. Who the hell's Kelphead? Oh, friggin' Mercuria? No, I don't want to get. I don't want to talk as that dude. I hate that dude. I thought that dude was like, I don't know, arrested or something. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers Mercuria, you know, the guy who likes eating beets out of his pockets. Mm -hmm. I hated talking like that. Well, I love talking like that, but I hated that dude, something fierce, and. Now I gotta save him? Well, okay, I get we gotta save her grandfather. Do we really have to save Makuria though? Like, if he just happens to disappear, I wouldn't be crying. Saying. I wouldn't be losing sleep over it. Yes, he was being held in the building for questioning at the time. It happened right as Kyoka-san went outside to survey the area. I would have been more surprised, or less surprised, if it was, um... Her grandfather and Kyoka. But at least it wasn't Spica. I was deep in my mind, I was thinking it might have been Spica people or her grandfather. I just couldn't think of the pairings. We went after them together and ended up here. Hmm. Sounds like just like what happened to us. What does that mean? Not quite sure. For now, we should keep moving. Mikuria Shiva Tomokaku. Hokto Kaicho a Hoto Kenaiwa. We can't leave the president of Hokto in there. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, because there was more in your text box. No, I said what I said. Didn't we also save Mikuria? Did we? I mean, I guess. Uh, he is Mid I think they spelled that wrong. He is Mituski's grandfather after oh, my voice. He is Mituski's grandfather after all. Thank you, everyone. Alrighty then. Let's get going. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna have Rion and Mitsuki. Oh. Grandfather. I'll be right there. I don't see that Kelpad idiot, too. Do we, though? Okay, I know, but do we? Alright. Well, now that we have Shadow and Wind, we don't need me to be Shadow, so I guess I'll switch to Spirit Mode. What's better for me? Uh, I guess Mercurius. Those are all kind of... Well, Pleiades, uh, Pleiade, excuse me, does give me defense, but it does kill my crit a little bit. Now I'll stick with the curious. And we have you guys, which you guys still have your stuff. No, they lost their stuff. Okay, great. I gotta give them things again. Um, what was her? She was the spellcaster, right? Oh man, I'm gonna have to have a field day having to rearrange everyone's stats and stuff. Okay, give you that, and then fire base. Uh, um, build ex points, take damage. No, crit damage plus twenty five. No. Uh, X drive lasts longer. I guess I could just make the crit rate higher because there's really no other red I can give her right now. Yeah. All right, now for you, blue. Let's see, um, chance to freeze? No. This will give you more life because I want to give you the paralysis thing. Um, I don't know why this is there. I need to give you the paralysis. That's what you used to have. And this was thunder, I think. Okay, we can work with that. Wait, hold on. We have a better green one for her. Nope. We have a better darkness one for you. Nope. Why do they lose their stuff? It sets up. All right, whatever. Best magic thing. Best magic thing. Okay, let's just scroll really quickly. I saw 15, 20. I'm trying to beat 20. I see a 30. I see a 40. Okay, 40. I see another 40 for the fairy ring. I think we might have a win with that fairy ring. All right, one fairy ring coming up. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And then you're the next best strongest. Let's give you... Oh, wait, no. I want to make her more... 
magically. Can I give her double fairy rings? Oh, it doesn't do anything. All right. Don't you love uh, when you watch JRPG players uh, YouTube and Twitch? When you see the struggles of someone trying to give the best equipment? This may not appeal to many, but for those who go through the same things as I do, you're like, oh, yeah, I've been there. Um, lose 15, but my magic has to be much higher. Yeah, I'll do it. Then let's give you... Saw 30. Prince Burn. Let me just do that again. Give her another 40, which I'm thinking... Or I can increase her crit rate a little bit. I'll do this. You just gotta make it stronger. Alright, you know what? I think this is probably gonna have to do for the time being, because I don't know what else I can give to you. Oh, except for better everything. I'm not having one die. Which might explain... No, oh, I guess I'm discouraged. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go. Took a little longer, but I think I'm working on it. A little my speed a little bit. Oh, I can't believe that Makuria's still... Okay, I know he's not dead. I just was surprised that we have to save him. Like, I don't qualify him as an important person. Like, at all. He had his moment. He sucks. I can speak for most of us when I say that crap. Oh, wait, wait. What am I hearing? Oh, someone's trying to shoot me. I was like, keep hearing like shooting sounds. Get away from me. What's he doing? What are you charging up? Ow! What is he doing? I don't like that this enemy is still charging something. Alright, well, whatever. Like, you saw the little, like, the, the energy spell thing around it? I don't know what it was gonna do, but it'll probably be something really bad. I don't have uh, fire. Because I got rid of it in favor of spirit. I'm also running out of road here. I'm running out of real estate here. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that flying attack, but I'll take it. Ow! Right. I'm. Yeah. That was so stupid. I really wish that we had the light element. Freaking June. You couldn't have given it to me. You're not using it. Oh well, my cross the bear, I guess. Wee! Oh, there's too much room. What are we fighting? Yep. Oops, wrong person. I thought it was Ko. I don't know why. I, I some dumb reason I thought it was Ko. I saw the spirit. I was like, all right, Ko spirit. We got this. Oh, actually, uh. Whoa, that was close. Oh, that, that, that timing of that dodge is crazy. Plus, also, Ko gives me uh, more goodies when I beat up enemies. Wrong person. Oh, of course, match resist. Alright, then fine then. Yeah, when that move hits too. Holy moly. Like, you gotta. Like, it's not that we're weak, but it just feels like we're not doing enough. Or these enemies are just that strong. I don't know. Is it just me? Like, I feel like I have to do so much damage just to actually, like, work on these guys. 12,000 bucks? Sweet. I'm going to need that once I'm out of here. I got to spend so much money. Don't you run away from me. How oh, come you're not flying up? Why does it only work on me? Whatever, this game. Where do I go? 
Oh. Oh, well. There goes my combo. I didn't know where I was going. Alright, come on. There we go. I should be able to do more damage. I'm the shadow one. Oh, forget it. Oh, I got a crit again. There we go. Something. I'm not going to ask too much, right, folks? Uh. Anywho, uh, while I have you guys' attention, since I know you guys are listening to me, and I'm like, oh, what else are you going to talk about? I'm not just going to talk about one thing. Um, I'm going to share something. Like I usually do when I do these panels and stuff. Um, my friends and I were talking about the movies. We're thinking about, uh, okay, so here's the proper context on it. We have a newer friend in one of my friend groups that hasn't been watching any of the Marvel, well, hasn't watched the Marvel movies in a while. And... When I say a while, I mean the last Marvel movie they saw was Thor 2. So if you don't know how far back that is, then wow, it's impressive. But it's far back, y'all. Like crazy far back. Ooh, that was close. So what we've been trying to do is kind of doing like this like low key. Oh, that's what that move is. Okay. We've been doing like this kind of like makeshift like Marvel marathon. Obviously, we have to get her to watch uh, all the way up to Endgame. And we were trying to like, get through the movies. And something we found interesting is some of those older Marvel movies, like that earlier era, like what we did was we ended up watching like almost every Marvel movie. Not in order, like we kind of went all over the place. Because we started with Captain America, the first one, which I didn't like at all. Uh, and it, well, to be fair, I guess that's biased because I've never really been much of a Captain America fan. But we started with that one. We did the first two Thors, which was... I also didn't like the first... Like, well, I didn't like Thor 1. It was okay, but nothing really, like, to write home about. It wasn't like... The first Marvel movies usually, sometimes, it's either really good or forgettable. Like, the first Iron Man was really good. The first Captain America, not so much. The first Thor, extra not so much. Um, but yeah, we watched the first Thor, uh, a couple days ago. What were the other ones we did? We did the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I said, we went out of order. So, if you're thinking we went through this in order, you are sorely mistaken. Um, we saw the first Guardians of the Galaxy, which she absolutely found fantastic. Which, to the point where she was like, why have I not discovered this? And we're like, were you born under a rock? But, no, she just, it's not like she didn't know the movies existed. She just never saw them. Ow! Which is fair, like, I guess there's people that have it. I don't blame that. Um, but what really, I think, got my heart for the best reaction was... Gosh, what was the whole thing of it? We watched, um... Ah, oh, hold on, let me just get rid of that real quick. Ow! Can I please get up? Thank you. God, it's hard to fight when I get sandwiched like this. Anywho. Um, so after the first Guardians, uh, we were telling her that you should, well, it's technically better to watch all the Marvel movies, you know, in proper order, but it was just kind of one of those, just grab whatever movie we could find on, uh, the various streaming sites. Like, we went through, um, Amazon Prime Video and, let's see, did we do any other ones? Oh, oh, my friend also had DVDs, uh, Blu-rays too, so I thought we watched, um, Guardians of the Galaxy because he has it on Blu-ray. But the movie that really got like her attention and she loved, and a number of us were just like, huh, okay, um, was uh, Winter Soldier. And nothing against Winter Soldier at all. Winter Soldier was good, but she liked it for different reasons. And we were like, what did, so obviously during the movie or after the movie, we we're like, what did you like about it? And she was like, oh, I really, she really likes Bucky. And we found out that she like really likes Bucky. For those that haven't seen Winter Soldier, um, it's an old movie, so spoilers, I guess. Warning, sure. Um, I guess I don't need to heal. Uh, spoilers, I guess. But Bucky was Captain America's friend back in the past. It's it's a whole convoluted nightmare. That's all you really need to know right now. Uh, metal arm. Otherwise, nothing really too super crazy. 
kind of forgettable superhero, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making a joke here. But, no, the movie was good. But the thing that got uh, her attention was Bucky's whole, like, aesthetic. And she liked it. But then we told her about... I, I don't know why it led to this. So she likes Bucky as a character. That's that's the end all be all, right? So we kind of jumped a little bit ahead and show clips of um, the Avengers movie. Of, um... Uh, Infinity War. Oh, no, no, not Infinity War, excuse me. Of uh, Captain America Civil War, not an Avengers. Even though it's technically an Avengers movie, let's, let's be honest. It's not, I can't, it's not an Avengers movie, but it's basically an Avengers movie. Or, at the very least, it's an Iron Man, Captain America, and mostly Avengers movie. But, I digress. Um, we showed her a clip on that, and... The whole time, she was like... Because she, she doesn't know about Winter Soldier, like, as a character. And unfortunately, I think most people usually don't know about Winter Soldier. Oh, man. How do I... Oh, okay. There we go. If only I timed this jump better. Um, she didn't know about Winter Soldier much, but at least from the uh, thing, she was like, Oh, she must be... Or he must be really powerful. Like, he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Captain America, and Captain America is, like, absurdly strong, right? Um, we showed her the scene, uh, for those that remember in Civil War, when the first introduction to Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, when he basically just kind of puts both Falcon and, um, and Winter Soldier in his place. Like, he's like, wait, what? And it's not like she hates Spider-Man, because nobody hates Spider-Man, nobody should hate Spider-Man. Whoa! Oh, that's a new move. But the thing that got her was she had this whole weird fantasy of thinking like Winter Soldier was like low-key, like crazy powerful. And we're like, nah, man, not compared to Spider-Man. Like, yeah, Winter Soldier's strong. And in comics, it's definitely a different thing. We're going for the movies, so any comic readers, I know they're more powerful, but let's be honest, Spider-Man, come on. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not in the minority when I say that it's uh, Winter Soldier and Spider-Man would actually like go at it. Whether they're like do it for fun or bloodlusted, you know as much as I that Bucky ain't surviving much. Ow. Anywho, um, but the issue that came up was it was the scene when uh first Spider-Man swings over and then kicks Falcon away, and Bucky slash Winter Soldier is about to warm up for a punch with his metal arm, and prior to again, especially Winter Soldier, and one of the things she loved was thinking about how strong that bionic arm of his was. I think it was Bionic. I don't really remember the whole term, the whole term of it. But it's, like, in the movie, it's absurdly strong, right? So, Spider-Man's just, like, basically, like, holding us, like, Oh, cool, you have a metal arm, dude? That's awesome, dude. And the whole time, she... Like, we usually are quiet when we watch the movies, but she flipped out. She's like, wait, what? And now, he doesn't hate Tom Holland Spider-Man. So, when I say this, don't attack her or by proxy attack me for what she says. But her exact words were, and I quote, How did that red twig be able to, uh, how is that red twig able to stop a metal arm? And we're like, oh, don't, don't change. The red twig made everyone laugh. And what's funny is because, like I said, when we were watching the other Marvel movies, we usually, like, unless we're causing it to go to the bathroom, we usually don't talk during the movie. We might say, like, whether something is cool or not, but we won't, like, talk, talk, like, conversation-wise. Because, you know, we're respectful of the people and we don't want to learn people's expectations and stuff. Um, but that was, the, like, the first outburst, and it was from her, the one who was the real reason why we did these movies. So it was just kind of funny seeing her just be like, that red quick wasn't able to do that? What the heck's going on? And we're like, it's okay, it's okay. It, like, Spider-Man's, like, ridiculously strong. You'll, you'll, you'll understand when you watch the other Spider-Man movies. And she's like, I've seen the other Spider-Man movies, but like, I didn't know Spider-Man was this strong. It's like, oh yeah, no, Spider-Man's ridiculous. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't do that at that time. I'm gonna have to redo that dungeon off camera. I'll, I'll redo it off camera and get an S-Rank. But yeah, she, she really likes Winter Soldier and she was just upset seeing that whole ordeal happen. We're like, don't worry, it, it gets better when we actually watch the movie. And we're asking her, because the whole time, we, like I said, we've gone out of order for a particular reason. Not just because there were some things we couldn't find, because what we did was we're like, all right, we'll, we'll let's use a, a placeholder name for now. Uh, all right, B, uh, Beth, what do you want to see? And we like talk about all these Marvel movies. We briefly describe that arc, basically from like OG Iron Man all the way up to Endgame. And we all made a unanimous decision against her consent 
you, you can watch whatever movie as long as the last two movies in this block, this like plan of ours, was um, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, which means whatever you want to see. Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, Black Panther, uh, all of them, obviously. And she did recommend Black Widow and she recommended Eternals. And because she didn't know, she doesn't know about, well, she knows about Black Widow-ish now because she, wait, no, she doesn't know about Black Widow yet. I think she saw, no, no, she knows about Black Widow. Sorry, sorry, she knows about Black Widow um, because we did see Iron Man 2. Um, she doesn't know about Eternals and she doesn't know about the whole order. She doesn't know at all about it. We just told her like it all connects and things like that, but we tried to like, you know, be vague because I didn't want to spoil it for her, right? So she's like, oh, well, let's watch Black Widow. And we're like, uh, actually, it's, we were kind of a little like mixed bag with that one. I won't spoil, but if you know, well, okay. Avengers Endgame and Infinity Wars happened for a minute. So I'm not going to ruin it for people because I'm not trying to be a spoiler owl. But seriously, if you haven't seen it, you should, you should go watch it. It's a lot, but it's worth it. I won't spoil. I won't ruin the experience for you. But I'm just saying, like, come on. There are reasons why we said you probably shouldn't watch Black Widow now. We'll save that till after uh, Endgame and stuff if you want to do the next phase. They're like, okay, what about these uh, Eternal people? Like, what about them? We're like, ooh. We, I don't think there was a single person in the entire day, <laughs> in the entire room who was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you should totally watch um, uh, Eternals. Now, this is a hot take, probably. And I'm not saying I'm good at making movies. Because I'm just a random guy playing random niche games. I'm saying right now, we all were not keen on her idea of watching uh, Eternals. I don't think there's a single person that was in the band camp of wanting to see it. Not one. Even she was just like, oh, no one wants to see Eternals. And then she was like, oh, was that after the uh, the Infinity Game thing? And we're like, after Infinity War and Endgame. And we're like, uh, yes, but... If you watch Eternals, it's gonna probably ruin your experience. We're like, okay. So we're still working on the kinks of what next to watch, but we've been mainly going by her standpoint of what you wanna watch, what do you wanna see, things like that, so. But yeah, you found out. She loves Winter Soldier. Um, he hasn't seen the other uh, Spider-Man movies, the newer Tom Holland ones though. Actually, I don't think she saw the Andrew Garfield ones. I should ask her about that. She has seen Oh no, she only saw the first two of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. She hasn't seen the third Spider-Man movie. Yeah, I know why she has it, because I I did the dumb meme about uh this was I, I remember sharing this on chat way back when. But when Spider-Man No Way Home came out, I saw a bunch of memes of people doing it, so I did it with my friends. I did the I can talk about this. It's Spider-Man 3. It's old, so I'm not going to say spoiler warning, but spoiler warning. But when Peter Parker was wearing the black suit, like, after the fact, he was doing the dance number. He was totally being a spaz. He just, like, clapped his hands and started, like, rotating his hands over and over. Like, you know, we all know that meme, right? So I told them, because she was kind of, like, against the Tom Holland thing. Because, she again, she hasn't watched the other ones. She doesn't really know Tom Holland all that well. We're getting her onto that. Um... But she doesn't really know of Spider-Man because she hasn't seen the Andrew Garfield ones. I know that for a fact. And the reason why I know, or at least I'm reminding now, she hasn't seen the third Spider-Man movie is because we talked about Spider-Man and we told her and we asked her what was the last things of Spider-Man she saw because she doesn't know about Tom Holland. And she was like, oh, well, yeah, I fought the, uh, the, the guy with the metal arms. It's like, oh, yeah, Doc Ock. So Spider-Man 2. And then we were like, my friend DJ was like, oh, so did you see the one with Venom? And we're like, who's Venom? We're like, wait, you haven't seen Venom? And then we described more further detail about how, because she was like, is Venom from the newer Spider-Man movies? It's like, no, no, no. And then she asked, what was the latest Spider-Man movie? And we said, technically the last one was No Way Home. And then I went off like script and was talking about how when Spider-Man No Way Home came out, I did the, uh, I did the same thing. Like most people did it. It was a trend, I think. Oh. If not, then I guess I'm making it up, but I swear I saw multiple people doing it. Where people would dress up in a nice suit, and they would do the Peter Parker dance, because it was just awesome. And I, I told my friends I did it too. I didn't record it, because I don't do like recordings of myself in real life. I should. But I did that, and she the whole time was like not understanding at all what it was. She thought it was cute, but she didn't understand it. And we all, I remember we all like looked at each other, and we're like, he hasn't, he hasn't seen Spider-Man 3. 
or the Andrew Garfield ones one. So, I'm going to have to, after this stream, send a text to her and change the plan because I'm trying to remember what the next one she wants to see. I think the next one she wants to see is either Black Panther or Thor Ragnarok. I think she said Black Panther, but... Well, I'm, I'm down for, like, Black Panther or Thor Ragnarok because they both are great movies. More Black... Well, I, even though I think Black Panther was a kind of... It could have been a little bit better designed. Like, it was still a dope movie, and the soundtrack was amazing. I just feel like they could have had... Eh, well, I can't talk, like, smack about Black Panther. I think Black Panther was great. I think the problem is I feel like compared to other Marvel movies, it could have had more. Like, more in the movies. Like, I feel like there could have been... I think it was more for, like, the heart of the movie than itself, so maybe I should uh, think about it. I'm trying, I shouldn't compare it to, like, other Marvel movies, because Black Panther was actually really good. It's definitely not the better of the Marvel movies, but I think it's definitely up there. I think she said Black Panther is the one she wants to see, but I'm going to have to see if I can make an executive decision that after Black Panther we see Spider-Man, because if she doesn't see Spider-Man, it's probably going to ruin her experience seeing um, No Way Home and stuff, yeah? Oh, I don't want to talk as this dude. I hate Makuria. Alright, whatever. Here we go. You guys. Oh, you're two next to each other? Great. You know what that means? That means we can't save the old man and not save Makuria. We have to save them both. Lame. Grandfather. Oh, Mitsuki. Mitsuki, my glory granddaughter. Actually, didn't I give him the Sean Connery thing? Mitsuki, my glory granddaughter. Everyone for the XRC. I don't want to save him. And now I'm extra less motivated to save him. It must be the will of God, aka me. I've deemed it. After all, I wrote the commandments and all. You must have been sent to save me. Glorious, beautiful me. You have to. I've been in this bubble for days. And even worse. And he, like, shows his pocket. He's like, I've ran out of beats. And I'm so hungry. Um. Do we really have to save him? No, I'm gonna read it exactly how I'm interpreting this. Well, it's not like we can leave him here, right? Well, we can discuss that later. This presence. You should go careful, everyone. He's the angel, right? The angel that was Rion's, which shouldn't exist. What the flip is that behemoth of a monster? Cedic Guardian? Cedic Guardian? See, I'm, I'm glad like certain people are in the audience because I hope oh, this music's kicking ass. I can already hear it. I'm glad there's certain people in the audience. Cedic Guardian? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on, on stream, but alright. These. Are they from the last place? A pillar guardian. It looks stronger than the last one. Finally, a worthy adversary. Maybe. We can't back down now. Time to show you the awesome power of an idol. This thing's gonna be a pain in the butt to fight. Alright, here we go. Oh, and you got friends too? Love it. Alright, well, let's see if we can reduce those numbers a bit, yeah? See, now I'm, I'm trying to think about the other Marvel movies again, like... I like Black Panther... Where would I put it? Maybe you should do like a tier list of it. Oh, you guys are all still... Match it. Whoa! Okay, that's a move. Whoa, that's a move too. Um... You know what? Let's just do this. Cut off the good item! Man, 
that does not last as long as I would love to be. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, man, I hate grabbing it. Can't touch the moves! Ow! Okay, I'm Poe. I'm tough. Like, maybe it'd be better to wait until I eventually get, like, a good setup. Because maybe I should do, like, a, a tier list. At least so on my hot takes on the Marvel movies. Because I'll put Black Panther above, like... Um, well, definitely above, like, most of the older Marvel movies. What are you doing? Whoa! Okay, that's a new one. I wouldn't put it as high as Guardians of the Galaxy, though. I think Guardians of the Galaxy was a lot better. I definitely wouldn't put it above No Way Home. I would put it above, um... Actually, I think I like Black Panther more than Homecoming. Yeah, I think I would put it above the other... Well, both the other Marvel movies, Far From Home and No Way Home. But I wouldn't put it above uh, No Way Home and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. The first one, at least. And wait to get uh, people being like, No, man, Black Panther is goaded. Or the opposite, Black Panther sucks. I don't know. I guess we'll see what the comment section says for that. Ow! Couldn't dodge that fast. Jeez, please. I don't even know, like, what that stuff is on the floor. No way. Got a great. Do it again. I know he's changed his terrain, but. Very unsettling. I didn't get crit for that one. Lame. Really? I didn't get crit for that? But I'm Ko, the crit specialist. I should, I know what you know what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to ask my friends what they think is the worst uh, of the Marvel movies. Oh, I need to help it. Oh, I, I panicked. I stupidly keep... I'm so used to playing other anime games. I'm pressing triangle thing and that brings up the menu. Again, this is what happens when you haven't played an anime game. Or, uh, this game man. I also use the wrong item. It does my life, too. Ah, oh, I couldn't dodge. Ah, oh, no, I couldn't dodge again. Oh, I gotta switch out. Help me out here. Bam. Bam everything. Let it all fly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ow. Oh, okay. Didn't see what behind me. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just going to stand right here where I know it's potentially safe. I used the wrong one. That's what I wanted to use. Hang in there, Ko. Uh, uh, me too. Yeah, I'll ask my friends what they think. The ones, obviously, the ones that have seen the better movies. What they think is the better and the worst ones. I think... The worst one. Ooh, I barely got that one. Hmm. Gotta think about that one. What is the actual worst one? I mean, it's probably not fair to say because it's dated. But I don't know if it's between the first Thor or the first Captain America. Or if we want to go into the real outspec. Actually, you know what? You know what the real worst one is? The Marvel movie that no one, the Marvel movies that nobody remembers or wants to talk about. Like, uh, that newer Fantastic Four. Nobody remembers that one. I think that might probably be the worst one, yeah? I don't know, folks. What do you think is the worst Marvel movie? I want to ask YouTube and Twitch. Let me know in the comment section. Alright, let's do it. I think it's probably gonna be that newer Fantastic Four, right? Because even the older ones are better. I don't think anybody remembers the other uh, Fantastic Four. They were so old. I think I was like. I was a small little child. I don't even think I was able to really understand much for that first uh, Fantastic Four. I think they had a sequel too, right? Of that older one? I don't know. For any people that remember, does anybody remember that other Fantastic Four? Not the newer one with, um, 
Uh, I can't remember any other... I don't know any of the actors except for, I think, Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan. I don't know anybody else in that movie. Probably because that movie was kind of bunk. I don't know any other uh, famous people in that movie. But the one I'm talking about is it's the older one. I, I don't know who the stars are in that older Fantastic Four movie. Ow! Ow. Yeah. Whoa, I surprised I dodged that. Help me out here. Spamming. Uh oh, not back here. Oh, I get health back? Oh, you're done. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on. Oh, just die already. You have no health. There we go. Jeez Louise, how are you still alive? All right, now we can save the old man, and I guess by proxy, Makaria. Now it makes me wonder who the hell Shio and Goro are going to rescue. It's got to be that friend of Shio's, that old friend. I can't remember his name. The guy who's the leader of Blaze. You remember the ugly dude? What flip was his name? Yeah, it's just not coming to me. I'm trying to think. Whoa, this is... The patterns are disappearing. <laughs> I expected nothing less from Hiragi and a little group. Oops, Robin. Yes, next up is... No, next up is one more pillar. But once we get that pillar done, it's the final dungeon. I like how no one's near Bakuria. Grandfather, are you okay? Ah, Shinpai wa iranai. Yes, I'm fine. No need to worry. Shikashi, Shokun da to Mitsuki ga gouryu shite ita to ha. I see Mitsuki was able to rendezvous with the rest of you. I don't know what that is. It's not Sean Connery, but it's making me think of. Oh, you know, it's not Sean Connery, but it's like. It's reminding me of the Saturday Night Live Sean Connery. Like, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to deliver the line. Wait, this is dated. But if you want to call yourself a connoisseur of the culture, you have to at least know. It's either gonna make you laugh or you're gonna cringe and be like, oh V, you got a weird taste. But if you want to call yourself a member of the connoisseur of the culture, you have to look up the Jeopardy Saturday Night Live skits with Will Ferrell. Oh man. The dude who plays the the bad Sean Connery is so so funny. Like there's this weird beef between Will Ferrell plays Alex Trebek. And I don't know who that actor is that plays Sean Connery, but they usually have beef. Usually Sean Connery tore Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell's like, you cannot please refrain from using ethnic slurs. And uh, Sean Connery will usually be saying a bunch of like dumb or vocal things like, that's not what your mom said last night, Trebek. Or he'll mispronounce. Like, Will, uh, will Ferrell's Trebek will usually say like categories like, uh, songs, uh, sounds a dog makes. Two plus two equals, uh... Oh man, what can I say that YouTube will allow me to say? Uh, the pen is mighty. Uh, important potables. And this is where France is. Um, like categories like that. And then when Sean Connery will pop up, he'll just say like, instead of the pen is mighty, he says, the pen is mighty for 400. It's like, that's, the pen is mighty. Or there was one was like, a petit déjeuner and, well, actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it is, because I'll take eight that for 400. I, I, man, 
I gotta wait until I get like better backing in YouTube before I can say the things I want to say. Food for thought, folks. But yeah, just end all be all. Look up the Saturday Night Live skits. It's actually that one is really funny. <laughs> I think you went on there a little too long, there, old man. What are you talking about? Saturday Night Live skits are really funny. Here, you can watch that on my YouTube. Oh, and I guess he's probably fine, I suppose. God, I can't stand this guy. Hmm, talk about a new escape. You guys really surprised me there. Wait, you're tending to his injuries? Then again, in order to save Hokuto-san, you almost had to save me too. That doesn't explain why you're bothering to tend to my wound, though. Yeah, you're right. I got no reason to. And then she just like really tightens the wound. He's like, ah! No reason, really. It's just the right thing to do, I guess. Oh, but uh, hold on. I'm gonna tighten this up a lot. Oh man, I would have tightened it way harder than that. That was like the smallest little thing, and you're wincing in pain. I would have like full on. Eh, never mind. Actually, I told you before, right? But I show you just how strong an idol can be. I will never forgive someone such as yourself who denies it without ever seeing that strength in person. Rion, really? <laughs> Even at the fate, at, at the end of the world. Hey, I gotta get my brand deals and my, my, uh, brand deals, excuse me. I gotta get my PR and my, um, my publicity. Gotta be done. After this is all, uh, after all of this is over, you will come to see one of our shows. Make sure you buy a VIP pass, okay? Mm. <laughs> that girl never skips a beat. Wow, to basically extort someone and make them lose all their money. Rion's so cool. And then Ko and Yugi are just like, what? All this, and she still manages to promote herself. <laughs> but this one neutralized, that makes two pillars down with one to go. Yeah, that leaves. Wait, what? What the frick's going on? We killed it, though. You better not be coming back. Oh, no, that's different. Oh, that's... Uh oh. Oh, that's the... Age. Wait, how does that exist? That should be in Rion, right? Seraph of Darkness. Or am I... Uh, I'm, I'm, my memory's bad. We gotta fight it? All right. <clears throat> oh, back off. It's way stronger than my angel. I didn't know you've been using the angel. All right, well, we don't have a choice. We gotta fight. Crap. A grim greed to your enemy right after all that? This may be breaking the fourth wall and all. I might have said this before, but aren't brush rushes against the rules? That... Is that Kyoka? That sounds like Kyoka's voice. Which means... President! Mitsuki-san! Hey, what the frick's going on? Oh, you got the squad? Yo, she got the squad! And she's got a nice uh, looking weapon herself. Okay, show me something. 
My apologies for our late arrival. Yeah, you could keep it up. What pulp drops? I will just make you watch more Saturday Night Live later. There's this skit called The Californians that I've been looking forward to having someone watch with me. You're all going to do it in the repounds. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Oh, she you want hands it? Yeah, it's powerful. Take this! Oh, Jesus. We're blasting right through. Man, she took out a Grim Green with one shot. You better be playable. Even Goro's not that damn strong. Well, I mean, if you want to, you know, take the spotlight and do it the easy way, I guess. That's not fair. National defense guys, of course, guys, were pretty impressive. But these guys, damn. The angry come. Zodiac's anti eclipse. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, V. Get your mind out of the gutter. Is that really how- How do you say that? Angrecum? I want to say Angrecum. Because I feel like if we call it the Angrecum. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to upload this video to YouTube. I've done too many bad things this episode. This is what happens when I don't do a playthrough in weeks. I, I, I go unhinged. I'm breaking. And I'm hungry. So my, my filters are gone. Zodiac's anti-eclipse unit. The rumors hardly do them justice. <laughs> you can ask as much as you want, but this gun is mine. Hands off the piece. To be honest, everyone here, including me, are former members. Anyway, President, Nei Mitsuki, and everyone, please head out first. We've secured the area. <laughs> Understood. Thank you, all. Hmm. Yes. So let's go. The British Skull, the Promised Land. Hmm. What? Uh, why, why is he looking like that? Usually when it happens, it's either something bad. Afterwards, we return to Station Square to exchange information. Itsuki and Rion now safely rejoin the ranks in the XRC. Chairman Hokuto and Kyoko return to the Hokuto Group building to rebuild the Zodiac forces. Amidst that... You... act alone? Who? Akuria? We letting this wait. We're letting this dude go free. Oh, is this like a redemption thing? <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, yes. Correct. I know someone that can provide assistance in dealing with the current situation. Hmm. <laughs> you are out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm gonna let you go free. Have you forgotten that you are currently on investigation? Let them go. Chairman! This little blue-haired twig was a bit of a pain in the ass the other day. I was trying to watch some old skits with Will Ferrell and the cowbell thing, but apparently he keeps talking throughout it, saying that Will Ferrell is not funny. I, for one, could not agree anymore. No, I'm just making a joke. Seems that Tomaki here has a plan. I'm certain that you don't mind, kids. I don't care. If he ends up lying dead in the ditch, his bone skin off my teeth. He's like, Ko! I mean, yeah, I agree, but still. Either way, no one can leave Morimiya right now. Oh, night now. And if he's stupid enough to come at us again, we'll retaliate in kind. <laughs> you heard them. 
But, Makuria-san, I recommend you watch yourself. Oh. Oh, she's one of those. Oh, she gets... Okay, got it. In anime, they have those tropes of the rich girl that usually isn't the one that get angry and pissed. But you and I both know if you make them mad, it's the scariest thing. I don't know why, and I don't get sick of that. I love that for some reason. Like, like Haru for Persona 5, for example. The girl or people, not necessarily girl, but anybody in general that's usually like the kind, nice one. And then you do the one thing that makes them mad and, uh, oh boy. <laughs> this is your one chance. You will not get another. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about me, dear heart. So, so now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go get a, a new change of pants, and then we shall meet again in time. Or if we do meet again, it means we've all managed to survive all this. <laughs> I have to go now. Yep. Ran away like a wuss. I mean not to make Mitsuki mad. Wait, the car works? I thought technology doesn't work in, uh... Whatever. Um, Mike's scared. Yeah, amazing. I can see why Shio respects her. Actually, I can see why Shio's afraid of her. And then the old man's like, Yes, that's the Hokuto way. Instill fear in their poor, feeble hearts. Drive them to despair and fear. And then, make, and then make them submit to you. Only then can you become king, or in this case, queen. Maybe. I still think he was a bad match for Mitsuki Senpai from the start. That's my lady! <laughs> Everyone in the XRC, I wish you the best of luck. This is the time for all of us to rise to the occasion and overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Hi. Yep. Oh, and one last thing. Tokishaka. Uh, yes? I entrust my daughter to you, but I would hope that you don't make anything of a mistake-like variety, if you know what's good for you. What, what, what do you mean by that? No particular reason. It's just, I own you. I own this city. I know where you sleep. You will not be able to sleep peacefully if you dare cross me. Uh, all right, noted. Grandfather, so I did not give you permission to call me that. Oh, so we went back to school, reunited with Toa. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad Rion and Mitsuki chan, Rion chan and Mitsuki chan. Mitsuki chan, come on. I'm glad that Rion chan and Mitsuki chan are all right. So everyone's here except Takahata kun then. Yeah, that lazy mouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only a little more, and we'll be back at full strength. Someone as strong as Takahata kun should be fine. And then it just turns out he's just suffering. He's like, Oh, God. I need help. If only my friends were here, I'm not going to be able to survive much. And then Mitsuki's like, Yeah, he's totally fine. No need to worry at all. That goes for Goro Sensei as well. Ah, yeah. We'll wait for more info from Yukino on that front. For now, let's carry on. Right, Cho. The last place with a pillar. Which is where we're gonna. Oh, you know what? That would make sense why we meet Shio and uh, Goro there, right? Because I think we had a number of moments with the two of them at Horaicho. I mean, that's where we first encountered Shio. 
you know, dealing with Blaze, and that's where I think we started doing more bonding moments with Goro, right? Other than the school. Just one more, and we can take down the barrier surrounding the tower. I think we should head there for now. I agree, but... What? There's something that's been bothering me. Oh? Uh oh, the music got quiet. But what is it? Uh oh. Ooh, we're having this discussion. Oh no. But why? How does Rion. Rion might be a lot more sharper than. Well, I know she was smart. Like, I never thought she wasn't, but. Damn, she's way more sharper than I thought. It's about Shiori, your childhood friend. Wasn't she absent because of a cold? Then why was she at Akro's Tower at the time? Because. Wait, how does Rio know? Oh. Yeah. Get out of the city! Wait, how did Rion pick up that there was an Akros? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, you know what? No, that's actually not as hard as I thought. Because the tower looks like it was. And hearing from that distance, we... I think we did kind of establish that Shiori was somehow at Akros. So, yeah. I just realized that Rion's just sharper to get onto that aspect. But I'm surprised that she brought it up and not, say, Hiragi or anybody else. <clears throat> I don't know. Not yet. Unless maybe they did want to say something and they feel like they can come to a conclusion but don't want to. Out of respect for Ko's feelings, maybe? Koku. Koku. Yeah, I have a thought as well. Whatever. She's my friend, too. If you don't pull yourself together, you'll never convince me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. About her. I'll definitely settle things. So, can you wait a little while longer? In that case, sure. Leon chan. Leon chan. That was. Damn, I gotta give way more respect and props to Rion. But now that I think about it, I feel like Rion's always been that type of person. Like, she says what needs to be said, if that's the right way to describe that kind of personality trait. Because again, I really do feel like everyone else would have said something and wouldn't because of respect for Ko. But maybe it just needs somebody to be that person to give that push. Like, it's, it's not necessarily tough love I'm getting at, but it's always... This may not be a good parallel, but this is just something to help get my thoughts across. And if I'm kind of close, then, you know, you, maybe you'll get understand it. Because you guys are watching uh, me play this, so you guys are smart. I know it. But, like, say someone's going through something very serious. Normally, the right thing, at least in my mind, would be you wouldn't say something. Well, you want to make your presence known, but you kind of, like, let them kind of... I can understand. Excuse me. Let me start over. If someone's going through something... Yeah, you want to... The right thing would be to let your presence known. But more people, often than not, will usually, like be there but not be absolutely vocal about it like most people usually just kind of like let it be or they'll say things like oh i'm here to help but they also kind of want to like give them space or distance in case they want to like figure things out for them unless they want the person to figure out for themselves but there are people like Rion that are like no i'm not the person that could just you know hold back i gotta have my point across i want to say this because this is important not just to me but to you I don't know that type of trait, and I I know it's hard because I know what I'm trying to say, but I just can't find the words. 
And I hope that there's somebody out there in the comment section that'll know exactly what I'm trying to say when I'm saying this. But a direct kind of person like Rion is really refreshing and a good trait to have. Sometimes, yeah, maybe it might be blunt and it may not be some things that people want to hear, but it's what people need to hear, if you know what I'm saying. We should get going, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We might find some more information on Takahata and the others. Once you're all prepared, let's go to the pillar at Horaicho. Horaicho has been added as a destination. Oh, information? Uh, my friends? No? 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 On who? Oh, on Kyoka. Oh, the, uh, the Angricum thing. Longtime member of Zodiac's anti-eclipse forces, the Angricum. Her combat abilities, co uh, combat abilities are second to none. I need to know how to say better words. If I want to make it as a content creator slash streamer slash potential voice actor. Oh, that's done too. Uh, slash potential voice actor slash announcer, I need to work on my reading. Which means I can't stop, I can't be saying dumb words, even though it's funny. What's your last one? So defensive, provided anti-greed weapons to Gashi and the rest of the volunteers in a successful defense of the Nanahoshi Mall. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know that was information. And that's it. All right. Then this is what's going to happen, folks. We're going to call it here because it's good time length and stuff. But on the next episode, we'll probably run through the school again. And prepare, because uh, we gotta go to Horaicho and hopefully reunite with both uh, Shio and Goro. What I will do off-camera is work on this Pillar of Eternity, so I guarantee you by next episode, you will see an S-rank here. I am not playing this game and not getting S-ranks throughout the board. Mark my flippin' words. I got S-ranks and everything else. Which means there was a treasure to do, enemies I gotta beat, it's just details and stuff. Oh, let me uh, go back to the fire. i will also like work on my level a little bit, and hopefully have money to buy some of that equipment because I didn't realize that stuff was expensive. $20,000, man. Ugh. At the very least, though, at least Mitsuki's grandfather saved, and Makuria looks like he's going to try and do some sort of redemption, and I definitely found myself a lot more respect and fear for Mitsuki. And I really think that the spotlight has to go to Rion for that one because, again, it's just nice to have people like that. Hopefully Ko will get through whatever, and we'll see because... We only got, what, the pillar and then the final dungeon and then that's it. I don't think we're going to have many episodes left. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are able to vibe and chill while listening in on me. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this. So I'm going to go get some food because I'm starving. But nonetheless, thank you all for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.